so we're gonna try it still don't know if it's gonna work um, I think all the settings yeah we're all set to as low as they can go I can't get any lower um, and then I've changed some of the OBS settings so theoretically this should work Let's see what happens. Whoa. <sighs> yep. I'm on the wrong game. Twenty six minutes into that room. I don't even know what that was. I think that was just a, a, a test run. Uh, have the camera in a new spot, and it keeps doing something weird with my character. So I need to go through. So this is the new one. Uh, So this is like the new average. Uh, sorry, wife was um, saying hi. So, we are going to do something a little different today with Emma. Tarnish Stone. Okay, so we are going to turn Emma into generically a Thor. They're Thorna. It would have been called if Thor was a female. Thor Thorna. T H O R N I A. Which is the pain you experience from being electrocuted. If I remember right, I could be wrong. Yeah, see, it keeps doing that thing with my face. It keeps doing this weird thing in my head. It keeps my head going, ooh. Whenever I look at my top monitor. Tell a story. I don't know. I'm going to have to change this position, which means I'm going to have to get a different holder. It's where it's at right now because it's on a plate with the light. So the more light I have on me, the better the, the, the great Elden Ring everything is. Was shattered. Um, so I I haven't been using that light lately, which is also why I guess not fall. as best facial recognition as I used to. Um, and I do have a spot where I could put it in front of me where I keep Mr. Ma Magneto. Um, but there's no way to hold it there, so I'm gonna have to no. figure that out first. Queen but yeah, I'm definitely going to have to move here. It just does not work there. Is nowhere to be found. Um, that, or I'm going to have to put it back to where it used to be, which is like right and in front in of me. But then I can't the do the arms or anything like that. I'll only do the facial. Godwin the Golden so. was first to perish. Let's take a dab. Hit. So. Soon, Marika's offspring 
Whenever Demigods we do born. this run, we never listen to Blamed this. The shards. And there was another time where Holy I listened to Elden it. Ring. And the timing here counts for the run. The right? But it also counts for the day strength. night schedule. Triggered the shattering. And basically we can get the first night schedule pure. <laughs> A war from which no lord arose. About a minute or so sooner. <coughs> and there's been a few times where I got to appear a minute or so sooner. And I still got the um, percentage at the... Um, whatchamacallit's... But I had to skip room four. And that was the big thing there was I had to skip room four. But if I want, I could always go back and get room four later. I've also done stuff like fought this guy and depending on how long it actually takes you to fight this guy, you can get a set up to where um, you can skip, like, almost skip your first nice guy cycle or whatever, like, I had a fight with him where it lasted me, like, a really long time, like, 20 minutes or something. Like, I don't remember how long, it was, like, a long time. It, like, got to a point where I rolled and it just ended the thing. Like, I did not get hit, well, yeah, I did not get hit once, and it just ended while I rolled, and I didn't kill him either. He didn't die either. Um... And when I came back or whatever, like, I wasn't able to even get Ronnie. Because when it's supposed to be night, it wasn't night. So I'm already having problems. Um, and I'm taking off the wrong things and wasting time. Oh my. Yeah, I'm already seeing some problems. So I'm normally doing something right then, um, but I actually just went through and made another quick adjustment to my OBS to try to um, get me some more uh, GP power to my game. The sad part is, when I got this little workstation, if I would have noticed that I had the wrong GPU, I would have been able to have had them gone back and got the right one. Uh, so, uh, I'm supposed to have a 3090 in this, and then end up coming in with a uh, 2070. I didn't notice it for like eight, nine weeks. It was, I only had six weeks to be able to notice it in the first place. Sorry, I just noticed I could barely see the keyboard or the mouse. And I was just thinking to myself, was it always like that? Holy crap. You guys really couldn't see it. It's like I don't wanna I wanna make it somewhat translucent. But at the same time I'm thinking more and more that I should just make it stick out like a sore thumb, so fuck it. I'm just glad that I got you guys can start seeing start seeing me again. Oh no! Ah! Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna have to play... I'm gonna have to play a lot more strict. I'm about to become a biatch. Alright, what can I turn off? I'm gonna have to shut the game completely down. 
which means you're going to get a black screen. So I just went ahead and turned on the background. Yeah, mm -hmm. see the game's not completely dropping off, which means we have something not turning off. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so OBS is using quite a bit of video thing. So I need to delete that and sponsor real properties console. I'm going through it on, um, uh, for some reason, the uh, OBS is using way more GPU than it should be using. Actually, it should be set to CPU. Why is it using a GPU at all? Okay. Uh, no, I can't read that. I'm not sure. Only thing I can do is try to give it less resource. That's all I can do. Okay, that's about all I'm going to be able to do to help it speed up. Try running Elden Ring on Administrator. That will allow it automatically GP preference. And try not to click off the game. That's something I, I had to learn the hard way too. Like, Windows, when you click off the game, will not want to give the game... GP preference because it's not in complete full screen, it's in windowed full screen. Um, I just get better performance in windowed full screen. Plus, I can go in and out of the game so I can like handle things as I need to, like when I need to move the map or something. I can. Okay, I have to admit, that was actually faster loading in than the first one. The first one took five minutes to load in, and I, but I was also doing other things. Um, Alright, I'm just going to say that it's physically a little bit faster. Let's just see. I think we're getting better preference now. I still can't see him. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, characters didn't reset yet. Uh, they're still dead. So, and I'm missing all my marks. I forgot what I'm doing. There's some gold tinge I was supposed to get. But I didn't get. I guess the other thing is I could switch to my alternative VRM. 
Let's do that. I'm gonna shut the game completely down. I'm gonna switch to my um, subset VRM, which is just my, the controller that controls my arms, basically. It is the lighter weight of the two VRM controllers I use. Um, and it is currently running, so I run both simultaneously. One that only handles my arm movement and stuff, so all this mouth syncing and stuff about to disappear or about to get messed up. Also, the visual that you're going to see is going to change. It's not going to be as clean, um, and it's going to be more raw, which you'll notice very quickly. So, close menu, and then I need to open up my avatar. I need to turn this one on. Nope. Unlock. And then... There we go. And these are set to unload, right? Ooh, no, they don't unload. both side by side and you can see how one actually looks slightly better than the other one and you can see how the movement of one is way more sporadic sporadic and things like that while this one is way way smoother um, I mean everything about it's just better so you see why I like to use the one but Something that I've done before is I can sometimes lock my hands by setting them into a position and turning off the lightweight one, which is the where I'm receiving the information um, to get the hand movement and stuff. Um, I don't need it for the body movement. Um, so I am now, I just went ahead and dropped that one to lock my hands. Um, because I prefer to have this one running. It's my preference out of the two options. Um, so let's try loading in the game. Oh, wait, no, I need to load it in as an administrator. Run as administrator. Yep. And trust me, I... I I'm aware of the implications of running a repack bare bone or bare metal. What happens? Now. I am still seeing um, asset loading in late.
but as long as they're loading in, we shouldn't have problems. That just means, like, we won't be able to see enemies further away. And that's fine. That's fine. Limit view challenge accepted. Yeah, see, sometimes that mouse just pops out like a sword. Have you heard of the of finger maidens? They serve but you. I can play turning to aid you. You need own to the foot of... Then it set summon me. Ah, I bequeath. Use it. It will summon torrent. Treat him with... Re I, mean, I don't know if anybody noticed, but uh, I have the Elden Ring on the computer now. I have like the actual ring up on the computer. I also put the Pokemon Ball um, because I did do that one streamer of uh, Pokemon Vol Scarlet Vol Violet, but I've also been playing like this way tarnished. Um, since Red. May I have? I am the witch. I'd heard and upon the talk I art to call for. Like the original red right, too. Ah, I was intrigued by torrents for. Forgive mine intrusion tarnished. Yep, 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 yep. Let's just cut your your audio completely. You and I can also that you're not then why I am Carly. Mm -hmm. Um me bye. Goodbye. Okay. We are now going to back exit, something I don't like to do. But I've been doing it more and more. Um, because we are much closer to the double moon than we normally are. Because we watched the intro all the way up to the point where he says the war with no Once we got that little thing, we can kind of head to like, start looking towards where we want to go. And then pop. And then pop. You know, we're just kind of... And we have to hit that ground we want. Come over here. I'm really just doing that for the foot. And this. I honestly think there's a way to pop. Okay, we're getting frame rate drops. Like, I can honestly tell I'm not getting 30 frames. Well, not even 30 frames. Maybe, tw maybe in the mid 20s, 25, 22, maybe. Point in times where I'm seeing, like, the, the battle axe would. Okay, let me, let me off, let, let me off, there we go, um, we'd be in the middle of the paddocks going back and forth, and it would just skip the motion completely. Normally there's a key, a uh, key from in the middle to force it to go mid, but it looks like it was skipping the keyframe, which means it skipped the animation completely. Because most of the animation is just assumed by the GPU using the GPU. Um, you know, the, the basic. Uh, it's not even math, it's just basic ideologies that are understood. Like basically, there's subsets of information they can just say that would tell, basically tell it, finish this. <laughs> you know, when it just says here to here, keyframe. And the more keyframes you have, the better smooth stuff. That's kind of how a lot of the VRM stuff works. Like if I want certain eyelid closed, or we used to do a keyframe in the, you know, in the, of it closed in the middle. Um, and then if I want certain things to happen, we just set them up as keyframes, like um, some kind of animation or something. Just like I said, set up as a keyframe. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh my gosh. Ha <laughs> ha she did not die. Uh, they didn't even go. They didn't even shoot at me. That mother went right by my head, bro. Man. All right, now how close are we to it? Did it just activate? Uh, 
Yeah, we're about to activate it. So let's see if we can force activate it in the right spot. I might have missed it. It's like right now. It's it's able to happen right now. Come on. Give me a blessing, baby. Since I missed it, let's go for the rune four. Fuck it. Did not activate. Oh no. No, I've actually had um, the blessing happen even though that thing didn't activate. It's only that thing activates even so you know it's the right time frame. Like it's at, it's at least after a certain time frame where it's the, that's the right time frame for the blessing to appear. And I, I'm telling you. If I don't see a blessing by the time I get back over there, I'm just gonna go back to start and try it again. And I'm not gonna watch because like it, 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 this is a setup where it actually happens sooner. So this is the setup where you can actually get the retreat blessing, but like you need to be there like a minute effing sooner. So it's gotta be before the double tree, and that's really important. There it is. There it is. Now, I'm, now we're just under a time restraint. We have like two minutes to get to the uh, the bosses and kill them. Or if I leave the area. Come on, let me up. I'm gonna stop here. Double jump into the crevice. Bunny hop to reset my point. Bounce off. Double hand. Um, oh, I missed. I never seem to get that. That's always what I'm like. Like backstabbing them has actually caused them to like, um, come.
come after me once. So I don't backstab him no more. Backstab, it has to be like the final kill. And the thing is, if I can get that first little blah blah thing in, then I could do a backstab immediately after. But the thing is, I almost never get that to happen. I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. I think sometimes because I'm like already got preset another hit coming, you know. Forgive to deter if you it's had just like them. I'm it over seems my war torrent I'm just over I'm in. There is but one I can take you. Gathering. Let my hand rest upon you. Boom, boom, boom. Mode. I think this is like the fastest way to get her to appear. I don't know any other faster way to do this. I mean, when you think about it, I actually wasted time. I wasted about. 60 to 80 seconds that I couldn't have, I, I could have like just not done and we you know would have ended at the same point it's just I got a little scared there and I didn't immediately go off to get the rune 4 in the somber you stone know, five, uh, loud, you whatever the somber stone was oh wait I know it seems like nothing More importantly, uh, it, it, don't worry, don't worry, just rest. Back already, no matter. We just need to be able to hold another axe, a very specific other axe. Hello. And if you're not sure what run I'm doing, the map is in the description down below. It's just a link. Uh, you might have to let it refresh a couple times or whatever before it pulls in. It is on IPFS. So after you load the link the first time, you can get the CID if you just want to pull it Wait, in. Well, you can watch it locally. If you have an IPFS uh, node, then you would probably know. Goodbye. Thank you, bro. Uh, I can at least go get the thing. I normally kill like one guy with this. Get the bonus. And no, it's it's not the giant. Although that would have been a probably more ideal, huh? Um, I normally kill one Godric uh, knight. See if I try to fast travel right now, then it will skip me up like five hours and we'll, be, we'll lose all of this opportunity. So like right now, if I wanted to, I could have gone back and not gone in that cave, just gotten the, the bear, gone up, I could have got the um, troll, get the troll without going all the way down. Um, so I mean, that's very easily you know, like another 2400 room right off the bat that you can go through super fast, super quick. See, second you leave the area, you lose it. So you have to think, just think, okay, what enemies can I get in this area and go after those? And um, there isn't a whole lot. 
but these Skadrik soldiers, um, I think three of them are technically within the area, so there's like three of them you can go. So I am still having problems with um, artifacting. Um, if I could overclock my, uh, I don't know how, I'm on this uh, laptop. If I knew how on this laptop I would, I'd overclock the GPU a little bit. Uh, I think I got a power supply that can handle it. I could just overclock it like three quarters of a volt to a volt, and I think I'd have enough extra oomph to do whatever. Because you can see, like, a lot of the stuff, it's it's almost able to handle what I'm giving it. Okay? And you think about what it's doing. Well, it's got a, a phone that's, so it's handling the codec and information like that to be able to transfer the video from the phone to the computer as a Wi-Fi, I mean, I mean, as a native uh, webcam signal, and then it's um, then tracking my face and doing the VRM application with the tracking, all to that, um, and it is running this game, and it's running. Um, apparently video codex on OBS. So, that's just the GPU. That's, I mean like, CPU is helping out on quite a bit for all of these things. That, that's all of the GPU processing is right now. It's those things. So, um, and you're probably thinking, well, why, how is your GPU being rendered and doing anything for the, um, the, the thingy? Well, it's the video codec. It's being pulled in for the video codec um, for the webcam. And for some reason, a video codec is also being ran with the um, VC face. So, I'm just having... So, that's, that's what it's doing there. Um, OBS, same thing. OBS is also just running a video codec. Polishing my output. Um, if I could, if I was running a headless OBS, <coughs> probably be a little bit faster. I'd probably be able to go straight to CPU. And to be honest, I thought I had my OBS set to where it wouldn't use GPU. Can. Only like you can go in the settings know. on the device it's and say, no, I don't want this to have it. You're um, heading to some tight well, that I mean, that means that scared. there's some reason it's getting can you take the ability to the still band. output. So it's, it's probably really just the physical screen that I see when I'm using there. Um, which I, I do use while streaming as like my monitor. It's my visual monitor. Because um, it also has my audio uh, uh, points to show me where I'm at there. Does it, oh no, I don't have an audio monitor at all in case you're wondering. I don't run any audio monitor, just the visual monitor. And inside the visual monitor we have the audio uh, strength uh, module so I can see what my audio strength is. I can also control it, you know, if such audio blah 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 is being outputted or what volume that's being outputted. So I can control, like basically I can my, mute myself or the, or the game. I can also mute um, the desktop, pull that in. So that's another option there. Um, so the other things we could be doing is I could be running 3D pose tracker instead of VC, VC face, um, which I did show the downfalls of that earlier. It looks choppier, the light isn't the same, so um, it's not as delicate. Like I, I, I don't look as clean. I actually look a little bit grungy. Um, and for some reason, I have not been able to get to the light to... Uh, I can't be able to change the GRB value. Because uh, I normally, like on mine, there's a slight green. Like the one I'm on right now. 
there's a slight green light cube. The, the light is slightly green. Um, and that's to amplify, like I'm radioactive, so um, all of my clothes, everything on me that's white has a slight green tinge to it. But on the other one, it's very, very different in there. You can see it's vibrant and different. Um, and then my green skin on the other one is duller because it doesn't have that extra layer of from coming from the light source. So, with well, an extra layer of green tint. Um, so, but um, I was saying on there that I got the updated version of 3D Post Tracker, and now. I'm supposed to be able to do like light source handling uh, better and stuff. So I need to really get down and, and play with the console again. And if I can, then I'll go back to that. I do like the, the output using the two together. Because um, VC face is just so, it's just so, uh, you know, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, I wouldn't say choppy, but it's like really, it's not smooth. VC Face puts in a smoothing element into the motion, which does use more GP power, does use more processing basically, but it makes me look smoother and that more natural. Um, other people, they normally just adjust the output flow, but I can't adjust the output speed for VC Face. I mean, not for your PC face, for a 3D post tracker on OBS, or else I, that's, that would be my trick, that'd be it. I mean, everyone's telling me you would increase the anti-aliens, uh, which uh, the PC face automatically does that, and you smooth, you slow down your speed, which PC face automatically does that. No matter. Why don't so, don't you know, I just haven't figured out how to do all that on OBS. Actually, I've, yesterday I was messing with OBS, and I did manage to get some stuff to do that I've never been able to do before. Um, in including like I uh, what's the way to say? Um, I was actually able to like import something, a video, and then I was changing the color of the video. So without like hand editing anything, I was just using a. Uh, color correction trick and then a chroma key trick on top of that and it, it gave me the desired output but um, so I was like well I wonder if I could do something like that to things like get that better coloring on the other thing so that's what I'm going to have to end up trying But I have to admit, um, artifacting isn't nearly as bad as it normally is when I'm trying to push my character while Hello. streaming this game Hello. specifically. Please. Um, Hello, it's rather my mistress. Depending on if I have um, fog only shaders on Minecraft or not, it depends on how to do this with fog, Minecraft. Please. If I have shaders, I can't do this at all. Um, and even without shaders, like my experience on the game is so shat, bro. It's so nasty. It's just like, um, I have just been like looking at getting uh, like a um, USB GPU and just running a, a USB GPU for like the VRM. <laughs> you know, that seems to be the thing that's killing me.
that sucks, but we can work around this. At least I'm seeing some enemies. Normally when this is happening, I can't see my, you know, my horse is going in and out or whatever. You can't see any of the enemies whatsoever. You can't see anything that you can speak to or hit. And he sees everything. Actually, I have a stream, I think I was on Odyssey. Where I was trying, you could hear the NPC talk, but I could not find out, figure out where he was at. And it was an area I'd never been before. It was the first time I'd been in that area or whatever. I just could not figure out where he was. So after the thing, I went back in the game. And he was like, just on the other side of where I was at. It's like, oh shit, I, I was completely in the wrong direction. Just. How it sounded like the sound was coming from right over there. Today we're going to do this one a little bit different compared to how we normally do it. I normally hit here and then I run back. I go, like I drop down and run back. Maybe another way, lads. Oh. No. Gosh, damn it. And normally you'd get him. Oh, I lost it. Oh, man. I forgot where the heck it's at. Whoa, bro. So basically what we'll I don't die. Sometimes I die like a million times doing this. Hey, I was wanting to go back there and try to do this. Do that. Well, I thought it was a room that was over there. Oh, that's what I just found.
maybe we can find some loose money at church. Since we have the Bogarts thing, and we have the quest to activate, as soon as we're ready, we can just go trap faster with the Bogart, get the necklace, run over what's her name, and over to her. And then be able to go into that manor. Some of the enemies are not appearing. Now you can either take the log down there, which I still die on. You take that approach, which I also still can die on, just not as often as the other. Don't walk on anything, just pick up shit. Pick up the shit. Pick up the shit. D God damn it! It's one thing I definitely do hate about this game. Sometimes trying to get the character, just pick up the crap is like pulling teeth. You could be running right on it and your character just won't pick it up. It'll be like right out. And then people are like, oh, you gotta hit four, and the second you hit four, you're no longer in the same plane as the item. So now you can no longer pick it up. And we're gonna do a fast travel trick to get rid of being poisoned. Because of the level that we're at, and we're not a confessor, being poisoned will kill us. It's a death, it's a death sentence. We only have so many heals, only so much that we got. But. this just fast travel if I have to die anyways and see this and run back to wherever my body was pick it up blah, 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 just fast travel you're actually saving time so you're not repeating the run to wherever you had died at and I've done stuff before it's like oh I could run and grab the stuff under the dragon and then run behind and then die and then have a straighter path when I come back but then like when I'm actually timing it it was just faster to just, like, actually just be at that thing. And there was a few times where I would just get it, like, I would just stand there and kind of let myself die. It'd take, you know, a handful of seconds. And then I was like, wait a minute, I, I could spend the same length of time with less, just waiting for the game to reload. You know? So then that's what I started doing. I just started, like, waiting for the game to reload. And that ended up being a huge, huge difference. And 
I got lucky because there's actually a bunch of jellyfish over there. I don't know. I just don't remember where they were. So now this is like what I'm used to, and we're we're getting to territories where this type of artifacting is bad. I'm gonna need to be able to see the rats. That might be kind of points so over. We, we might just. We might, um, when I get up here, I'm going to switch uh, switch VRM controllers. It's just me or is my character kind of high up in my chair? that out and open up the other one yeah This is bad. Okay. Um, I have to turn on VC face to get 3D post tracker to actually load. For some reason it keeps crashing when I load it without the other one. Still crashed. Still crashing. I don't understand. 
Well, it was doing this the other day. It won't let me run it into administrator mode. It won't let me do a lot of things for it. All right, yeah, it's, um, looks like I'm going to have to drop everything, um, as an OBS in the stream to get it to load, so I'm going to try that, and I guess I'll be back. 